actually your guys' homework this week, and I want to talk a little bit about them because the students in person actually talked about these in class too, and so I want to better explain them. And I'm actually going to extend the due date of these questions till next Wednesday. So I'm about to send out an email about that now. I wanted to post this video first. So these questions are, what kind of subject matter could you include while painting your monochromatic landscape? So we just talked about what a landscape is and subject matter meaning what is in the painting, what is in the artwork. So what kind of subject matter could you include? This could be an activity you like to do outside. This could be a memory that you have of a vacation or maybe a place that you like to go. It could be a place down the street. Any place that you can connect to a natural scenery, any kind of memory or anything like that, an imagination even too, um, that can be an example of your landscape painting. Then you need to be able to have significance to this place or to this memory or to this imagination. So it can be as simple as, I really enjoy this place. This place means a lot to me. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I have a lot of memories at this place. So and so on. And then three, what color could you think of um, to use for your monochromatic landscape? Remember, monochromatic meaning one color. So you need to choose a color of the color wheel. And then you're going to be tinting and shading. So you're going to use black and white and changing the tone, just like we did on our monochromatic sheet. Um, monochromatic worksheet, you're going to be changing the tone of that color in our monochromatic landscape. So, um, and then you need to be able to connect this color to why it's significant to you. So it can be as simple as, whenever I go to this place, I just love watching the pink sunsets. So I think I'm going to do the color pink to represent those sunsets because that's really important to my memory and why I love this place. Or how can you connect to the romantic era and why? Think about all the things that we've talked about with romanticism, even in this video. Think about the artists that I just talked about um, and how why they were painting. And we can connect them in the most simple ways. Um, and I've also had some students connect in the opposite way of romanticism and how romanticism was kind of like a reaction to the Industrial Revolution. Some students are saying, I'm going to do a cityscape because I feel like it is the opposite of romanticism because they enjoy nature and um, I really like cityscapes so I want to include that in reaction like to the industrial revolution. So that's one way that you can think about it too. You can think about the industrial revolution too because we just learned about that. Okay so I'll go ahead and give you my example of my painting. I'm going to include um, subject matter of my most favorite place in the whole world, Dale Hollow Lake. So if you've heard it before, you'll have to um, shoot me an email or a message to say, oh, I've been there before. I love that place. Or if you've heard of it, that's really cool too. And the reason why it's significant to me is because I've went there my whole life and it means a lot to me and my family and I have a lot of memories there. Um, and this place is the most beautiful place in the world to me, as I said. So I romanticize it just like those artists do that we just learned about. And then what color could I use? I use green in my painting clearly, but the reason why I included green is because when I go there, I just think of green because all the trees are green and it even reflects on the water, makes the water green too. And the water is not green. It does look green. Um, it's actually clear, but um, I just think of green because green is just everywhere. It's just so beautiful and there's just so many forests in the mountains and I love it. Or another color that I would like to include is maybe pink or orange um, if I was doing a different color because it reminds me of the beautiful sunsets that I see while I visit this wonderful place. And then how does it connect to the Romantic era? This relates to my, this relates to the Romantic era because of my individual experiences and my emotional connection to this beautiful place, Dale Hollow. And because I romanticize this place and probably make it a lot more beautiful and talk about it a lot more um, beautiful than other people do because it means a lot to me. And so that's how it connects to romanticism. So then I just wanted to show a clear connection of how our gradation connects to our monochromatic landscape. And that'll be all for this video. And then I will be including a video of atmospheric perspective.